You notice straight away that I put a two extra rings in the middle there um, and the idea beyond that that's going to be part of the decoration and uh, I'm going to have um, these welded on the outside to two to and each sector there will contain these little rings that I've uh, hot bent a bit like uh, the big rings just uh, smaller ones so that's going to be one band of decoration um, I'm going to another band which is probably going to be at the top here which is going to be sort of these precast leaves that I bought quite cheaply so a band will go around like so Uh, another band, uh, I've got these other types of leaves, which again, now these, uh, now it's going to be quite difficult to, I think they're something like that, or uh, perhaps like that, I don't know yet, but that's another band, uh, because I've only got uh, uh, 10 of these I'm gonna <laughs> I haven't got 12 so require 12 so I'm gonna have to alternate them on a band around here that's another band and then I'm gonna do something this is some copper washed uh, 3 mil and I'm gonna be putting something like these in here as well so you can do these quite cheap uh, quite cheaply and easily so they'll have some other ones Probably further down, I don't know yet. So the next job is to weld these in and then I can start to look at painting it then. Uh, now uh, putting the uh, ring decorations on that I uh, manufactured before, um, they're going to go on these two bands, these two rings that I've uh, already welded here. So uh, I've already put four on, so we're going to add the other eight now and I'll just show you. Um, welding two on here. One in. Uh, we're now looking at uh, adding some more decoration and these are these uh, leaves so I'm simply you can see I've marked them on here now so I'm simply going to um, weld these on okay uh, as you can see now we've uh, I've got that upper row of decoration in um, between there and the next ring I'm going to put something probably some uh, some scrolls so the next thing is going to be I have to try and weld these two together and they're going to sit sort of like that on another band okay so uh, we're progressing now and uh, that's the latest decorative band to go in um, so I've got space there which uh, I'm going to probably put some scrolls and this space here and for that I'm going to uh, make a couple of these up. These are 4 mil wire with a copper washing on which I'm going to leave on. So six of those and then I'll 
probably just tack them in with the MIG welder. Okay, so uh, how did I actually uh, make this uh, scroll? Well, it's quite simple. Just simply a case of obviously taking a length there, like about 60 centimetres. Um, and first thing I want to do is create this little twirl here on either ends. So I need to do that first of all. So this is a simple scrolling jig that I've made up from some round bar. Quite simple to do. Or you can bend it around anything with the correct diameter. And of course I'm cold bending this now. So that's at one side. Now I just need to do the other side with, in, with the, at the opposite direction. Okay, so I've got my two little twirls now um, at e either end. Now obviously I want to make the much larger twirl. Okay, as you can see I've got a another jig now for the scroll and that's to make the the much larger head of the scroll there on either side. So again this is what I used in a previous job. So just simply hold it in place and then just bend it round. Now that's not particularly perfect, I'm going to adjust that just slightly, but I'm just going to do the other side first of all. It needs a bit of flexing this way and that way, just perhaps just get, get it level, but it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Okay, I've made the six scrolls now and uh, I just need now just to weld them in to form another banding of decoration. So. Okay, so that's the probably the penultimate uh, banding I'm going to put in. So, so I'm going to, I'm going to keep the uh, copper washed mild steel on there. Uh, so I won't actually paint that. Um, so I've got the leaves, I've got the scrolls, I've got the rings with circles, and then I've got the uh, alternate. Uh, leaves again, so I'm probably going to try and get some big scrolls in there now. Uh, probably the copper wash ones again. Okay, well I've uh, completed um, the infilling of that particular decorative banding. Uh, actually, got it on the workbench at the moment, um, and I've decided that I'm going to fill this space between that decorative banding and the uh, bottom ring there 
with uh, this little beast, if I can come back out, it's um, four, four mil and it's, uh, I've just scrolled it around and I'm going to give each segment a, a uh, one of these. So uh, it's quite flexible so I'm, I can easily bend it into and tack weld it into those. Seems to get a train every time I come out here. <laughs> um, so yes, so this is going to be the final, the final uh, 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 band in, and then I can actually get round to painting it. Uh, but that was the infill I did again. It's just a similar sort of scroll. Um, I've just tack welded in there just to provide an infill. So put this in, and then we'll see how it goes from there. Okay. Uh, well that's all the decoration on now, um, put these scrolls uh, with sort of the mild steel and uh, with the copper washing on, I'm going to leave that on. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, quite an heavy beast now. So what I'm going to do now is the mild steel, the exposed mild steel, I'm going to put on uh, a red oxide primer and uh, I'll probably leave the copper washed uh, mild steel uh, on its own. So, there, there we go. Oh, that's the 